This week is British Science Week 2021 and we are Durham University Electric Motorsport in partnership with Durham University and Tailwind Energy. We are a team of university engineering students who design and build solar powered cars and race them across Australia. We are going to show you how the skills you learn from STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering and maths can set you up well for a wide range of careers. Science shows you how to be analytical and curious of the world around you. Technology helps you develop creative thinking and practical skills. Engineering makes you question the way things are done and become a critical thinker. And maths teaches you how to become a good problem solver and analyse data presented to you. All of these skills are invaluable beyond their own subject and all employers want you to have them. On top of these more obvious skills, all STEM subjects also help you develop team and leadership skills. The ability to work collaboratively and with good communication and management skills are vital to advancing in all careers. STEM subjects can be studied at school, college, university and through apprenticeships. Two of our GM alumni, Isaac and Katie, are going to explain how they ended up doing an engineering degree and being a part of our solar car team, GM. They both took very different routes into engineering and are doing very different things now that they have graduated. They will explain how the STEM subjects they studied at school have helped them in their degrees and in their current careers. Hello, I'm Isaac and I'm a former member of GEM uh, and now I'm a PhD researcher at Siemens Gamma Renewable Energy at the University of Sheffield and I'm investigating ways of making wind turbine generators more efficient. Uh, at school I, I did maths, further maths, physics and electronics as my A-levels and I think uh, electronics was my, my favourite one because it gave me a chance to, to actually you know, apply the, the, the maths and physics and, into a tangible practical thing. Uh, and so there's no surprise that I went on to study general engineering at Durham uh, and then specialised in the sort of mechanical electrical side as I went into my final years. My name is Katie and I'm a Durham and GEM alumni. So at school I studied maths, applied maths, physics and geography and applied maths was my favourite because I liked seeing how what I was learning applied to real life scenarios versus just learning something just to pass an exam. So I joined the team uh, at the beginning of my first year and was an engineer for, for the first year and went out to the 2017 Bridgestone World Solar Challenge. After that I was elected Head of Electrical, a position I held for two years uh, up until the 2019 Bridgestone World Solar Challenge. So I designed uh, the electrical system for Autus uh, and then after that race, I was uh, elected team principal, so led the team uh, for my final year at university, so fourth year. I then went on to study mechanical engineering at Durham University, and my favourite part of this was being part of the solar car team, GEM. Um, this wasn't actually part of the degree, it was an extracurricular activity run by the engineering department. Um, and I was part of GM for three years, um, I was a driver and I was head of mechanical in my third year. So my time at GM undoubtedly uh, helped develop the skills that got me where I am today. Uh, and the engineering skills I gained a lot from GM, uh, as well as just understanding that no, no engineering problem is, belongs to a single discipline. Uh, a solar car relies on aerodynamics, mechanics, electronics, electrical, uh, materials, all these things coming together to give you a, a complete package. So I undoubtedly developed those practical um, and technical engineering skills. But on top of that, GM teaches you about teamwork and collaboration, both working in the team as you know a junior engineer, learning about you know pulling together uh, to get the job done and everyone doing their bit, to later on taking on a management position and understanding how to, to manage smaller teams and uh, use them to, to accomplish their own tasks to bring together a complete project. So really useful school skills for any engineer uh, that, that helped me make me who I am today. I now work building sailing yachts for Spirit Yachts. Um, my job specifically involves fitting out the engineering systems. So day to day I do a huge variety of things from installing mechanical systems to hydraulics to plumbing to woodwork, um, usually all involving significant amounts of problem solving. And I would definitely say that um, I've used the problem solving and practical skills from my degree far more than the actual content in my job. 
So if I could give a piece of advice uh, to anyone still at school, I would say try and get involved in as many things as you can or try out everything you can think of. Uh, you don't really know what your passion is going to be until you've tried out enough, enough things. When I started university, uh, I was torn between computer science and electronic engineering. I was really interested in computers and, and computer architecture. However, through the degree and my time in Duen, I realized I was, I was more interested in, in the high voltage power electronics uh, and electrical machines. And so I'm now working on wind turbines. Uh, so you don't really know what, what you're going to end up doing, which is why I would just say, give everything a go. Um, why not? Now is the time before uni, at uni, just figure out what you love. My advice to people still at school would be do what you enjoy and don't be afraid to change your mind. Um, when I applied to university, I applied to a wide range of geography and geophysics courses. But then at the last minute, after I'd received my offers, I realised that I'd rather do engineering instead. And this actually turned out to be a brilliant decision because otherwise I would have never ended up at Durham, never been part of the solar car team and would never be able to build really cool boats for a living. As we've seen from Isaac and Katie, there are many different routes into a degree and many different routes to take afterwards, but STEM subjects, both at school and after, prepare you for whatever you end up doing. We hope you take away the message that STEM subjects can open really exciting doors in your future. Thank you for listening from the 2M team.